Hello viewers, I am Will Keith, and I am here in the Pierhead Arcade. Now this is a virtual reality game that actually has a fully functional arcade, completely playable every game in virtual reality. Full motion controls, and this is absolutely amazing because when I was a kid, when I was a kid I spent a lot of time on bird walks and the like. And let me turn the audio down here a little bit. There you go. When I was a kid, I spent a lot of time on bird walks in arcades. So, like, this is a dream come true for me because I can just play most arcade games. But these, they're, like, all um, analog-type games, not digital ones like Pac-Man, for example. So, let's get started. I guess we'll go to the uh, Whack-A-Mole here. And of course, I'm gonna do it the only cool way. Do a wield. And you just move the controller over to put in a coin. It's good to go. You have to not kill the cavemen. And this feels really good because the controllers have a really good rumble thing to it. And why is there a thing on my left controller? Go away. No, what are you? I hear you. I accidentally rotated. Whoops, hit a caveman. And just like in a real arcade, it gets harder as time goes on. Alright, what keeps happening? That's never happened to me before, and I don't know why it's happening now. Seven ten. I know you have. Oh, lots of tickets. Come on, tickets. Bring them in. Bring them in. And it has the high scores here. Uh, where am I on the list? Oh, and I'm in the three hundreds on this one. That's no good. Three ninety one. I need to go investigate on why I'm opening up menus accidentally. Oh, I see. I have the player scale set differently, so I'm not at the right height, that things appear different to me than they should. There we go, much more better. Alright, let's go on. Yeah, see, before when I had my hands where they should be, I was like out here, heading into the menu things. Alright. Now, what can I play without embarrassing myself? Let's try this. Uh, old timey shooting gallery type game here. Sadly, you can't do a wield in this one because it doesn't register hits with the gun that's not on your aisle. And also, dual wielding is insanely impractical when actually shooting moving objects. And take that fucking rabbit. How dare you rabbit. Oh, there's a balloon up there. Is it done? The music stopped, but it's still going. And uh, now it's done. 1825. Oh god, in the 800s, that's embarrassing. Alright. I could be trying to improve at one specific game, but... I'm trying to kind of show... All the different games they have. This here, um, Arctic Shuffle. I've never seen this in a real arcade. I don't know if it's a real thing or if they invented it for this. But, pretty much, it's kind of like a version of Bocce, where you have to throw the penguins... Or slide them, this is slippery like ice and get it into the zone with the points. Oh well, it was way too weak. Oh shit.
no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right, 10,000. Not all that bad. 600. Let's try that one more time. I think it might be near a wall where I'm getting lag. Hang on. There we go. All right. Stay, stay, stay. Aw. Ten. That's impressive. Ah, fuck. Alright, apparently I'm not very good at this game at all. Uh. One ticket. Oh, that's, that's real nice. Alright, let's move on. What now, what now, what now? Uh, these ones I'm actually pretty good at here. Uh, what do they call this? Honey Rush. You gotta use these knobs to get the ball into the glowing hive hall up there. It's uh, very physics based. And you got you can't get the ball into any other hall other than the one that's glowing or you lose. One. Oh, that one's easy. Two. I've gotten a really high score on this in the past, but that was kind of a fluke. Haven't been able to replicate it. I think it was in the top 100. Alright. I don't know, I keep getting really easy ones this time without any, like, obstacles in the way. Let's see if that will keep going. It's completely randomized. Sometimes it's almost impossible from the first one. Oh, now see this one. I gotta get all the way up here and through there. That's not gonna be easy at all. Probably gonna fuck this one up. Alright, come on, ball. Come on. Come on. Yes! Alright. Right, what next? What next? What next? Oh, wow. Well, way up here. But right, I'm gonna be doing some, like, line riding on this one here. I see I gotta get it up right in between two holes. Ha! Not bad, not bad, not bad. Ball's not moving, it's not cooperating here. Here we go, there we go. No, 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 no! Yes! Alright, 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 alright. Oh, I'm doing really good this time. Oh my god, I know that looking at this, this seems like the least exciting arcade game imaginable, but this is tense. Trying to work the physics. Stay, stay, stay. No, no, no. Alright, alright, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm... Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, not bad. Where am I? Oh, wow. Number seven in the global scores. Oh, that is fantastic. Look at that. Oh, man. All right. Now we're going on to the really fun one here. Zombie shoot out. Let's get at it. It's like Herschel's shotgun in The Walking Dead. Rats with wings. The more pellets that hit a target, the more points you get for it. If you only catch them with like one pellet, that's a big waste of a shot. Fucking Mr. Rat. Should get pretty fast at the end. Done. Oh my god. Number. Oh wait. No, this is the score I got on it in the past. Oh wow, I'm still number six. Nobody beat me yet. 
Alright, I didn't beat my high score that time. I guess let's try this one more time here. I'm gonna keep the thing in my eye and actually aim down the sights this time. It feels slower this way, but I'm a hell of a lot more accurate. Ah, I keep missing the rat. No, I got a hip shooter. I'm never gonna get that rat. There's only one thing I can do now, go shoot up the arcade's reward section with Furious Rage. Alright, let's turn the tickets. Wow, those bears really don't go anywhere, do they? I like to have one ticket that just comes in at the end. Like the tiger that's glitched in the wall. Alright, that's enough of that. Alright, 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 what next? I'm no good at ski ball, so I don't want to try that. Uh, oh yeah, let me show you the, uh, the rewards here that you can get for winning tons of tickets. There are a whole bunch of small things, like this thing is real simple. You just launch it and try to catch it in the thing. Oops. <laughs> ah, ah, fuck it. Alright, I keep ending up right near the wall in my room. That's like ruining all the frame rate. Alright. A boomerang. That... Actually, kind of comes back to you, but the sad thing is, you should be able to go outside of the arcade to throw this because in here, even though it curves, stuff gets in the way. So there's really no catch in it, even if you get really good at throwing it. And I'm kind of going from basic to more complicated over here. You have a sparkler and an actual lighter here. How you can draw with that. I thought about drawing some obscene things, but but uh, I'm not good enough of an artist to draw something before the line fades. Not fast enough, so just imagine a glorious sparkling dick butt. Go away. And then where'd the lighter go? Got some uh, firecrackers here. That's always fun. Alright, now to get to the real stuff. Alright, check this out. An actual remote control car. Check it. I have full control over it. Very fun to just play with, set up like stunts. I remember one time I bought like 15 sets of those blocks and I set up like a big stunt curse for the remote control car and then proceeded to fail miserably and destroy everything and I'm not going to set that up again now. Maybe sometime in the future though. And now for the next school list we have the remote control tank. Check. It drives like a tank and it rotates. It can go back and forwards. And when you pull the trigger, it actually fires projectiles. Like, let me grab a couple of blocks here. And come on, tank. And I missed. 
There we go. <laughs> so that's real nice. So. Here. And the tank is stuck on the edge of the table. And I gotta pick him up. So. It's hard to aim side on. There we go. <laughs> Alright. On to the next and arguably the coolest thing in this whole thing. The drone. Get out of here. Check this shit out. You have full directional control over it by using hand motion. And the harder you whoops. The harder you squeeze the trigger, the higher it goes. So you need good uh, trigger discipline to keep it steady. And once you get good at it, you can navigate it pretty well. Get it up through the rafters. Come back to you. Oh, Jesus. I know it's not real, but it's still startling. Have it hover right over your hand. And catch it. And then you can even kind of frisbee it. And then pick it up while it's in the air. It took me a long time to get used to flying this thing, it ain't easy. Pick it up. And then it kind of goes where you're pointing too. If you if you keep it steady and rotate your body, it will kind of go where, you, where you're pointing. See? And do like detailed landings places. So like, the, uh, the toys you can get here are kind of like half the fun in this game, I think. The arcade games are amazing. Having such detailed rewards for, like, playing digital arcade games is just fantastic. Oh, where are you going? Oh, in the boarding alley. Let's check it out over here. The, uh... The prize crane. That's what all these rewards in the corner were over there that I shot up with the shotgun. I won every one of the rewards from these things. And let me tell you, that monkey back there was a freaking bitch. It just did not want to pick up the monkey. The balls are easy. You'd think the big heads on the toys would be easy. The parrots weren't so bad, but the, uh, the monkey was the worst. Uh, now watch as it just grabs a monkey the first try now that I'm not even trying to get it. Of course, of course. Of, oh, okay, there we go. If it actually got that monkey that first time, I was gonna, like, fucking throw my controller. Uh, I literally ch Let's see here. 191 times I played the prize claw, trying to get that monkey. Everything else it got maybe in the first 20 tries. I, I had to get all of them, though, because I'm insane, and I wanted the fucking stupid digital monkey that doesn't mean shit. C come here, monkey. Fuck. Fuck you, monkey. I'm not- I'm not fucking done with you here. You, you see what you do to me, monkey? You see, you see what you do to me, monkey? Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? You fucking monkey! Is this what you wanted? Hee <laughs> hee! 